Okay guys, so as we speak, I am uploading the tutorial for this thing here. But I just, I couldn't let it go, and I had to make it more compact. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but this is what I came up with. As far as the most compact, this does exactly what that does, but it does it better in virtually every way. This over here is 14 wide, 4 thick, and 4 tall. This over here is 6 wide, 3 thick, and 5 tall. <laughs> it does exactly the same thing. It uses 10 diamond pipes versus 16 diamond pipes over there. And it uses 7 iron pipes versus 10 iron pipes over there. Um, you could argue it... Well, actually, I don't know what you could argue. I think it's better in virtually every way. <laughs> And I've got the power. The power is not so much an issue, but you, I mean you can do it however you want. But this is how I did it. I did not include these engines in the dimensions here, and I stopped the dimensions right here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, uh, I guess I will do a tutorial on this one really quick. <laughs> This one is a little bit more complicated to put together, I think, in my opinion, but... So we just put down in a row, one, two, three, four of these, and then we come back around and skip a block and put down four more. And these are our main, main setup. And then we're going to put down diamond pipe, diamond pipe, iron, whoop, iron pipe, iron pipe, and then over here it's going to be all diamond pipes. Now you can change this up to whatever layout you want. This was just the one that was the most convenient for me. Next we're going to fill this little trough here in with diamond pipes. Okay. And then we're going to take our uh, pulverizers and we're going to put them on top. I'm going to stand somewhere where I can, you know what, let's just put these down there. So I can stand on him. And shift click. Sh shift click. And dang it. Come here. There. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it like this. There, now we've got a box of our pulverizers on the bottom and our furnaces on the top with some diamond pipes and a, a few iron pipes and then I think we're gonna go ahead and add no let's wait let's wait because we're gonna need to access this area okay then you can input I'm inputting from here but you know you can input wherever and we're gonna start and we're just I'm gonna make all these these three here are going to be my um, silver and the last one's gonna be lead and then these are gonna be the other four so, so I'm going to click here, and we're working with blue and red here. So on this one, I'm going to make the blue my first silver, this blue my second silver, my third silver, and my fourth silver. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I don't have a fourth silver. <laughs> I have lead. Lead. This could be lead. And then we're going to go back. And I'm going to make this one my copper, or which color is this again? Red, yes. we make red copper on this one. And then on this one, we're going to make it gold. And then over here, we're going to make this one, um, wait, which one? Yeah, okay. This one is going to be tin, wherever I put it. And this one is going to be iron. Now, basic setup is complete. From here, we, well, not really complete, but we're going to add our dusts in here. So, white is that, and then green. So, um, let's see. Silver. Here it is. Silver goes in these first three at the top. White is silver white is silver 
and then this one is lead white is lead and we're going to make yellow is going to be the silver here and then from here it's going to be green is going to be where did my lead go there it is green is going to be lead green is going to be lead and green is going to be lead there now all the lead can go that way and all the silver is going to go up here or well no it'll just go up into this one but that shouldn't be too big of an issue if you want you can just say uh, allow silver to go to the yellow here and to the yellow here just so you don't have to worry about one getting stopped up but this is designed this is definitely overkill for just one quarry because it's not going to be getting that much and then from here we're going to start with our copper so we're going to have copper ore, or copper dust going there and then we're going green so the uh, gold is going to go into the green and then I've got this pipe because this isn't is necessary to keep going so we're just going to rotate this around yeah wait there now any gold comes up from here is going to go straight up and gold coming here is going to only be allowed to go up this way okay and then this is the tin so we're going to put the tin in wait that's not that white tin or pulverized tin yes goes in the white and the iron will go in the green right there and then we're just going to whack that and it's really pretty much all set up from here all you got to do is add a few more iron pipes on top like this switch them around when i was testing it i had this problem all my iron pipes were wrong because i keep forgetting to flip my iron pipes And let's just go ahead and put a pipe on there for the sake of argument. There. And then all we have to do is adjust all these. So we're just going to make them all uh, input from the back and output everything at the top. And then just turn everything else off. And I'm going to do that with all of these. And then on these, we're going to say input from the bottom and make whoop, the back the output. And then turn turn the rest of these off. That's going to look like that. And I will do that off camera really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, it's all set up. It's all the way it should be. There's some footage which you will never see of me getting these backwards and stuff going everywhere, but it is now gone. I set this system up that you've probably seen a million times by now. The ender chest pulling out with the engines. And there's a big hole in here, and you're like, well, why is there a hole in there, Atten? And I say to you, because we need to power this thing. So we're just going to run a ring. Oop, not there. I mean, it could go there, but that's not where we want it, for my purposes. I'll run a ring around there, and then we're going to run a ring around at the top. And cross. There we go. And then we're going to need to get power to this thing somehow. And for my purposes, you don't have to. Maybe you could find even a better way. You could do it remotely or whatever, but I just felt like putting it down here. So we're just going to stick entirely too many electric engines down here. Way more than this thing could ever use. But you could pipe the power off to your quarry or something maybe. Who knows? But the point being, it is gratuitously too much and it is wonderful because of it. And... On. Now we need power for these things, which I shall acquire right now. You notice those big solar panels up there, right? I use solar panels a lot just because I can set it up and forget it. Uh, and just put them together. I guess some would argue that there are better methods, 
and I would probably agree with you there are better methods but I like solar panels because it's what I'm used to okay now those are on powering these things it's already full charge <laughs> or does it come with full charge I don't think it does yeah here we go these are still powering up so how did it get all the way up here first <laughs> that's what I want to know nonsense. It's complete nonsense. But whatever. That one didn't get powered. It makes me sad. Oh well. So now I think it's pretty much set up and I will be sad panda if it does not work. So let's let's throw some stuff in there and we will not shift click into the box because bad things happen when you shift click into ender chests as I keep learning. And I do mean I keep learning because I will forget it for a very short moment and I will get the black screen of death. And it makes me very nerd ragey. Okay. Now if we played our cards right Things should start filling into this chest soon. And I don't know why these aren't getting as much power as they should be. I mean, they're in extreme overkill on the power. Everything seems to be working f well so far. I'm going to turn on the magnet. Turn on magnet mode. If anything pops out, we'll know about it. Because we'll hear a plop. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of this design. I spent quite a while. I was working a, a lot on trying to figure out how to, like like I was saying earlier, make them stick together so they could just send them through. And that thing really kind of worked right. And this is, it's elegant, it's pretty, same word used twice, and it's about as compact as I know how to make it. But if you know how to make it more compact, let me know. <laughs> See you guys later.